Hey, this is Sonny Gargiulo here with Rosie. Um, today is uh, Saturday and uh, decided to work on a few things before I put this saddle on. So the first thing I wanted to show you is, uh, obviously, I set up the rope halter with this little thin cotton rope here. Now, this rope is about 5 16 thick, so it's real thin. It's not intrusive in her mouth. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to teach her to accept this rope first because at some point I'm going to put a bit in her mouth. But I wouldn't just come over to a young horse and, and start trying to get a bit in their mouth, try to jam a piece of metal in their mouth. It's just not right. It's not fair. Um, and I want her to be okay with this stuff. So what I did was I tied a soft uh, little cotton rope to the other side of the halter. And what I'm going to do is, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure uh, what I've been working on here is, is uh, being able to touch her muzzle, okay? So I need to be able to touch her muzzle, and she's got to be okay with that. The second thing I need to do is to be able to put that rope to the front of her mouth there, and she's not going to freak out so much, all right? And then slip my thumb in there and get that rope in there. When I get the rope in there, I'm not going to tie it up on this side. I'm just going to kind of... Uh, put it around the rope halter and let it hang so it's in there but it's not uh, in a position where I can't take it out if I need to take it out uh, a lot quicker than I would want to let's say um, typically so if something happened I want to be able to get it out so this is a great way to start uh, getting your horse used to having something in their mouth um, and make sure it is it's a soft rope you know don't don't use like a hay string or something something like that it's just not uh it's not right and it's not really uh you, you don't want to hurt the horse in any way okay so she's got that rope in her mouth she's not real comfortable with it typically like a horse uh a young horse that you're starting they're going to chew a lot but what i'm going to do with her is while she's got that rope in her mouth i'm going to move her around okay i'm going to distract her from having that rope so I'm going to give her something to do maybe work on that lead lesson um, so that she's not thinking so much about that rope in her mouth but I'm going, to, I'm going to let her have it in her mouth and keep it there the second thing I'm going to do is get this saddle pad she's looking at the saddle I'm not going to be the guy that says uh, we're not going to do this okay hey look horse look See, smell it. It's a saddle pad, okay? She's never seen it before, maybe. Uh, I don't know if she's seen a saddle pad before. I'm pretty sure she hasn't. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to stalk her with it. I'm not going to be like, hey, hey, horse. See, it's just a saddle pad. What I'm going to do is, what I do uh, whenever I train a horse, is I train them the way I want them to actually be. So if I really uh, want her to accept the saddle pad, I have to place it on her like it's been on her a thousand times, okay? If she wants to move, I'm going to let her move, okay? But I'm just going to put it on her. And if she moves, I'm going to stay with her. I'm going to stay with her. I'm going to let her move. I'm not going to confine her because she'll get nervous about that. And then once it's on, she gets to stay. And she gets to stand. She's still got the rope in her mouth, got the saddle pad on I'm going to come over on this side here, put up my blocking hand there. Uh, again, I'm not going to confine her. I'm going to let her walk around a little bit, let her feel comfortable about that. Take that pad off on this side and slap it back up on her. And I'm going to slap it on, um, not like I would be putting a couple of eggs on her back. You know, I'm going to put that on her back. I'm going to make sure it goes on her back and she feels it. Okay, it's a light saddle pad, but it's, it's heavy enough that she could feel it. Okay. Because we all know a horse can feel a fly. So um, I'm going to let her get used to that. And again, I'm not going to confine her. I'm going to let her move around if she feels like she needs to. Because um, that wouldn't be fair to her. Got the pad on her. Uh, again, I'm going to work both sides. We have an onside and an offside. I never use those terms. Uh, except when I'm talking to people who do use those terms, because to me there is no offside or onside. I want her to accept the saddle, accept the pad, accept the mounting, accept everything on both sides. Um, so I'm going to stay with her here and really work both sides equally uh, until she's real, real comfortable with that. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is let her stand, and I'm not going to hold her. I don't want to hold her. Again, don't confine your horse. If you teach them to stand without being confined, if you teach them to tack without being held, that's what they're going to learn, right? Horses only learn what you teach them. So if you teach them they got to be held, they're going to learn that. The next thing I want to do is get my saddle. I'm going to set up my saddle.
uh, in a way that it's com the saddle is completely stripped down. Okay, I should have did this a little bit before, but whatever. Um, I stripped it completely down. There's no rear cinch on it. There's no uh, cinch, uh, front cinch on it. There's nothing. Uh, I know she's walking around. That's okay. I got her on my foot here. So she's not really going to go anywhere except wrapping around my saddle. Um, <clears throat> come on, girl. So I have a stripped down version of my saddle, basically. I'm going to throw this uh, stirrup on here. Come on, girl. Throw the stirrup on here. I'm going to bring her back to the middle where I was working with her. Put her back in the same exact spot every time. Remember, again, horses learn from repetition. I want her to stand. If she's not standing, I'll keep moving her. Okay? Oh, good girl. Once she stands, I release the rope. Leave her be. Okay? Put that saddle pad on her. Again, let her deal with it. Still has the rope in her mouth, so we're working on the bit there. That's good. Um, gather my rope here. I'm going to walk over to my saddle. This is going to be the next uh, piece of equipment we're going to work with here. Now, I don't, I don't personally go uh, for these synthetic saddles or, you know, hey, put a saddle pad on first or, I mean, uh, uh, what do you call it? bareback pad first and all that stuff. No, I just kind of introduced the saddle. Um, if she goes to move, I'm just going to, there you go. I'm just going to stay with her. Stay with her. I'm going to do my best to hold the saddle on her back and let her move. I'm going to let her get away if she wants to get away. When she stands, I'll pet her and say, what a good girl you are. You are the best. Okay? And she is. She's being good. All right, and this happens, this is not, uh, this particular horse is not a special horse. What happens is when you do it this way, the horse learns it this way, okay? Everything I've done with her, I've dealt with her in this fashion, uh, more like a teacher. Okay, this side here, I got the latigo, rear cinch latigo up in there. I'm going to pull it down. I'm going to pull this one down. She wants to, the front latigo is underneath here. I'm going to reach up in there. Wait for her to settle. When she does, I let go of that line. Uh, and I get that saddle all nice and put up on her back. Okay? Good girl. Now, bring her back to the spot where we work, which is this spot. Uh, not changing the deal in any way. Bring her over here. Let me grab my cinch first. So I'm going to get my cinch. Uh, going to back her up, keep her busy. I'm going to keep her working. She's still got the rope in her mouth. Next thing I'm going to do here is allow her to uh, move around, but I'm going to put this cinch on right here. See, I'm just going to hook it on and leave it be. So it's hanging down by her, her legs there. Uh, I don't know if she's comfortable with that yet. She will, I hope, at some point. Uh, we're going to make sure at some point she's going to get comfortable with that. And then I'm going to let her walk. Again, I'm working on this side, which some people would call the off side. No, nope, we're not kicking today. Um, <laughs> I don't blame her. You know, she's just trying to figure all this stuff out. So, again, I'm keeping her quiet. I'm keeping her calm. That's the whole idea here. Keep her calm. Okay. Don't let her get into a fuss or a fight. Um, when she stands, I'll let her stand. Good girl. Shake that saddle a little bit on her back. Let her get used to that. Stay with her. I got the rope, the lead rope wrapped around my arm. If I really need to hang on to her. Uh, and when she starts backing up, that's okay. You know, someone said to me one time, Sonny, how far will she back up? I said, well, the world is round. You know, she can't back up forever.